In this discussion, we will discuss the discussion question of Discuss the steps and order of steps in a partnership liquidation. So when we have a discussion question like this, first we might want to define what a partnership liquidation is. Because it it's not as apparent as it might seem. The liquidation terminology may be a little confusing. It basically means that we're going to close the partnership. So the partnership is going out of business. The partnership is going to be no longer in existence. How do we wind this thing down? And this process can seem more uh, like it'd be an easy thing to do, but it's, it can be a confusing thing to do, and we want to do it properly, because if we don't do it properly, it can cause a lot of problems. It could <laughs> cause a lot of uh, more uh, not good feelings <laughs> for than it, than it has to be at this point in time, because in, in any case, if the partnership is liquidation, it's probably not uh, the best the time period possibly, depending on the circumstances in any case. So we want to just make sure that we do the liquidation process from an accounting standpoint as good as we can, as properly as we can. In order to do so, we've got to go through these steps. It's also no, it's, it's important to note too that the liquidation only happens, you know, one time. And when, when I used to learn this, I used to think, well, why do we spend so much time on this liquidation process when it's only, you know, hope it's only happens when the partnership basically dies. Why do we need to spend a lot of time on it? And note that it's going to be it's really important just to know the capital accounts. So if you do the, if you know the liquidation process, you get a really good idea of the partnership capital accounts. It's, and um, and so it's and you just get an idea of a better idea of the trial balance and a better idea of just how to you know we get we've we've gone through the creation of different types of businesses, but we ne we haven't gone through it, the termination, the taking apart piece by piece. So really, it's just like putting something together and taking something apart to see how it works. So if we've, we've put things together. We've never really taken them apart, and so taking it apart helps us not only to take it apart, but know how to run the process during the process. So if we go through the, the liquidation process, there's really a few steps we, we want to do. One, we, we want to sell all of the assets first, is typically what we're going to end up doing. Then uh, we, we want to allocate any of the gains of those assets to the, if, if there's gains or losses on those sales, to the proper capital accounts in accordance with their profit sharing agreements. Uh, if there are losses that result in negative capital accounts, number two, if there are losses that, that result in negative capital accounts, then we want to deal with that at that point in time, meaning we're hoping that the partner that has a negative capital account due to a loss on the sale of the assets, which may very well happen because we're kind of doing a liquidation clearance sale, meaning we might not get as much money for the assets that uh, we had assumed or was on the books for, and therefore we have a loss. Once we allocate that loss to the partnership accounts, a partnership account may very well turn negative, meaning instead of the partnership, instead of the partnership owing the partner money, the partner may owe the partnership money. And in that case, we want to take care of that. We want to say, okay, let's go to this partner and see if we can get paid to the partnership to properly close the partnership. And that may or may not happen at that point in time. That may be a difficult conversation because of course, when you go through the closing process, you know, we're trying to tem terminate the partnership and get away from this thing. And uh, typically people don't wanna pay the partnership. They wanna, <laughs> they wanna close the thing out. So if we can't get paid for whatever reason, and we won't go into the, to the legal uh, terminology here on, you know what the steps are for the remaining partners but it may come to the fact that it's not worth you know pursuing a particular partner who's who won't pay that uh, negative balance then we have to allocate that negative balance to the other partners involved to continue the closing process um, so that would be and and then after we do that then we want to do we want to pay off all the liabilities and then uh, we can then we'll be left with just cash and partnership capital accounts and we can pay those off so that that whole thing with the um, negative capital account possibility really kind of confuses things so if there if there isn't that case which hopefully there won't be then, then the process would just be we're going to um, we're, we're going to sell all the assets get the cash for it we're going to then if there's no capital accounts that are negative we'll pay off all the liabilities and then once the liabilities are paid off, then we can basically allocate 
to the partners. So we, we sell all the assets, we allocate the gain or loss to the partnerships. If there's no negative capital accounts, which hopefully typically there wouldn't be, then we pay off the, uh, the liabilities and then we pay off the, the balances to the partners. So uh, why would we do it in this way? Because it really lessens the likelihood of having a negative capital account. So in other words, if we're liquidating, if we're liquidating the partnership and we as accountants are kind of involved in, you know, in uh, uh, regulating this process, if one partner comes to us and says, hey, I've got a partnership capital account of $30,000, I want, I want that money now, you know, I want it now. And you would think if everything went well on the partnership, then we should end up with 30000 to pay that individual. But if things don't go well, for example, if we sell the assets for less than their book value, then we'll end up with a situation where we, we won't have that 30000 at the end. And so what we don't want to do is start paying the partners before we sell the assets because we don't really know how much cash we're going to have until we sell the assets. So we got to go through the steps. So we so if we're the ones that are kind of regulating this thing, we've got to say, hey, you know, we're not paying any any significant amounts out to any partners until we go through the whole liquidation process, which is to sell the assets and then, uh, you know, allocate that net income to the partners, see if there's any negative balances, if there was a loss for any partner capital accounts and deal with that. Then we'll pay off the liabilities and then we'll pay the remaining amounts to the partnership in accordance with whatever's left over and whatever the partnership balances are after this closing process has taken place, this liquidation process has taken place.